today I will show you how to create the uh, design response spectrum so which we generally use as an input for STAD uh, which I generally use so this is a uh, like value with respect to spectral response aggregation with the uh, time period so when you are doing uh, seismic analysis generally we follow response spectrum or time history analysis but response spectrum is widely used uh, so i'll show you here how to create response spectrum as per ax 710 okay so you can go through uh, in ac 710 uh, section 11.4.5 so there you will have you will find a description how to create a response spectrum graph so there are certain equation and uh, time period for conditions so the same i am just replicating in my excel sheet so these are all the input parameters or uh, what we need so a side class and the category these are all the input parameters which you can get it from, uh, from design basis or from client importance factor which you can find based on the type of structure designing s1 and ss you will find based on the location you are working the, or the structure where the structure is located and these two side coefficients you can find it in table 11.4.1 Okay, so for that you need to have a side clause which we have already and SS and for FV we need to have a uh, uh, side class and S1. So with that we have all the required data. So next is uh, these parameters you can find uh, using the equation which is provided in 11.4.3 and 11.4.4. This is very straightforward. So then now um, like T0 and TS. So this is the equation what we have for T0 and TS. So T0 uh, the peak start and the peak end okay and SA SA is uh, this is your spectral uh, curve which is dependent on the time as time varies the spectrum uh, uh, changes this is our spectrum which I have drawn uh, with the input from here so now T is my T is my input so T I'm just varying between 0 0.05 so in this you can change as per the your requirement if you want you can use it as 0 0.06 and then update so number of intervals will change and then here 0 point if you generally I like to keep 0 0.05 and then i'll just update it same it will get updated here and sa sa is this this is a function which i've created it takes care of all these conditions so sa in one first condition is when T, T is less than T0 so for this part of a curve T is or T is less than T0 so this is the equation okay and next is T0 to T, in between uh, T0 and TS from T0 to TS so this is the equation and uh, after this it is when it is the T when you got time the varying time is greater than TS so this is this is the equation what you have to follow okay and you will find the same in the uh, book uh, the ac7 so you just have to follow that now i will show how to create a function for this so function because like you know if you're doing manually or if you're typing a formula it has to take care of all these conditions so which will be laborious or you'll chance are there that you'll make a mistake so it's better like you create a function which is very useful so I'll show you uh, how it's created. So this is a function I've created. I've given the function name SA and these are all my parameters which I'm passing. So it is like a sum. Okay. So let's say when you're doing a sum. Okay. So it asks for the input. What are the input you want to sum? Okay. In a similar way, a function, it, it's a function. SA is a my function and i am passing certain values what are the values i need so obviously i need to have for this curve what are the things required i need to have sa this time periods these are all the input parameters what i have to give okay so here if you see sds i am passing sd1 and then t t0 and ts okay so here 
SDS is required, SD1 is required, T, T0 and TS. Okay. So T0 and TS we have here and T which I have created now. This is like you can create uh, your own time uh, varying. So the more uh, 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 the more uh, the time fraction is more, then your accuracy will be more. But 0 0.05 is more it's like more than sufficient. Okay. Here uh, I'm just uh, making those conditions here in the function. So function you just have to I will show you here. function. Okay. So S A. Okay. I'll just create another one. S A S. I'll name it. And what are the parameters I'm passing? S D S comma S D one comma T T naught comma T S. Okay. Sorry, T naught. Okay. So this is my function. So now, first, if T T is less than T naught, so I want this to be executed. Okay. So I'll type a function if T is less than T naught. Then, okay, what should happen? Okay, so the function here, the name which you are giving here as a function, the same you have to use it for the output you want here. Okay, so I'm using this and this value should match. This and this should always be equal, same. Okay, so then I will type this is the yes. Multiplied by okay, so yeah, so this function, so keep on next as if you give this condition, so we have two conditions here. When t is greater than t naught, okay, and t is less than t s, so as if then I'm giving, so then I should give s a should give s d s, okay. Similarly, you can uh, create entire uh, function for s d for the last one when uh, t is greater than t s. So here you can see like uh, it is similar to what you have typed here, so it's easy to understand and it is easy to see how it works instead of all this clumsy formulas with the reference to cells okay so now I'll just delete all this so now I'll show you so now okay I'll type sa okay in my function if you remember first time passing the uh, SDS okay then SD1 then I'm passing the probably T and then after that uh, T naught and then TS okay so yeah this is correct so you can see here what are the function you are passing so it should be in a proper order okay so then just uh, if you can see here one second yeah here at the end you will see a dot so if you just double click it will update it to all the cells but here when you are updating make sure that there are few cells which are constant see this are all this is like constant same for all the values but varying is t so but if you see here this value has been moved so it is not taking a proper value so for that what you have to do is you have to lock certain values you have to lock sd1 sds and t0 and ts so here i'll go so this is my sds so press f4 or function f4 so it will be locked and this four okay so now if you see it should work fine so after that, just to avoid uh, too many digits, so you just go for roundup function, comma two. So I just want two digits. This is what. So this is what I have done here. Okay. So I'll just take this out. So this is what the curve you'll get it. So later after you've done or oh, like you're generating all these values. So take this. 
go to your stack pro so go to your system case then add so you will find response spectrum use this value so yeah this is just i'm just trusting myself for generation of uh, 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 spectrum so i'm not uh, doing here response analysis complete analysis. so if you were doing analysis you have to take care of all this damping scale all this value so which i will be sharing in future so after that so you can just uh, you can verify the curve so here so it will match with your what value yeah here this curve hope uh, this will helpful so you can download this excel uh, in uh, uh, video description so if you have any doubt uh, put your comments so we can discuss